Hi Leo, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and thank you very much for all your likes and shares much appreciated and I'm using the transparent deck with the uh, King, no, Tarot of the Kingdom deck and I've had a lot of reactions on that, lovely reactions it's a lovely fairy tale and a fantasy deck it's vibrant, the colours are fantastic, it just jumps off the cards this, you can see more things into these cards and both these decks make my intuition ooh, thrive and put it to the test uh, it's challenging and I love it, I love a challenge and I'm also using the answer of the angels card and the TLC for the soul and I should be putting it that way. All the other videos have and some videos are longer than other videos but when the message is so clear and so strong it doesn't take much. So let's see what is uh, comes out for you. First of all we start off with the Eight of Cups. Perhaps you might are bored with the same routine and you want excitement and adventure perhaps you want to leave well um, let's see this is a romance reading but perhaps the flame has died down a bit and you want excitement so why don't you go out there and think about something and put your thoughts or ideas into practice and take your partner with you if you're not hooked up then go out there and start sh uh, being the beacon of love and friendship and excitement if you are open to excitement then excitement will come back to you threefold now you have the uh, ten of water so yes you will find your partner and here in this deck it looks like you you are e uh, expanding the family or the family's just expanded it looks like a little baby in the arms of the mother isn't that gorgeous so you might be expanding the family or you might have ju just found out that you're pregnant but there will be celebrations ultimate happiness and things coming together and wow uh, I'm a bit stunned so I, yeah I'm stunned so if it could be a shock that could be the, the reaction that you might have that you've got no words because it comes in as a bomb you wanted excitement well you've got the excitement with the baby a new start a new beginning a 10 is an ending um, and a new beginning this could be also in a new home expanding into a new home moving away from a small home or an apartment to a house with a garden and that is your adventure because look it is above the couple's head the adventure is above the couple's head so that's why I said go out there and beam and get the excitement find the excitement so that you can share this with your partner if you're coupled up if you're not coupled up then go out there and be seen so that you can unite and get married or live together and expend the family this is the energy in the first week but it could also flow throughout the month if this reading doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign then we have the four of cups what are you pondering about what aren't you seeing are you too much in your head are you unhappy come out of your head and don't drown your sorrows because in this deck he's got one in the hand and he's drinking his sorrows away don't do that don't get depressed talk to your partner if you haven't got a partner go out there and don't drink on your own go and drink with friends if you need to drink 
exchange ideas look around you there's more on offer the four of cups in the traditional tarot is the hand of the divine offering you something so something out there is on offer for you most probably a beautiful voluptuous handsome or beautiful partner only you have to open up and get out there and take action nobody's going to knock on your door then you have the five of water the five of cups ah well if you had a family um, and you uh, got separated then I can understand why you're upset and drinking your sorrows away but it's no good because you can't it will only make the situation worse okay if you start drinking and drowning your sorrows then the the whole problem will just escalate and it would, might become a bad habit get out there get among friends talk to somebody if you're sad and depressed and upset and yes you go out there and seek advice if you've got children that you go can see your children but don't cry over spilled milk and I'm looking at upside down but she's di diving deep and she is caressing her tail the mermaid but look at all the ideas coming from her streaming from her so get those ideas into the material world wow like you're at rock bottom you're sitting at the bottom of the ocean that's no good get up dust yourself off and swim back to the top with your beautiful ideas and open your heart and put your ideas into the real material world Oof, that is powerful so get your ideas out into the material world do something about it if you are divorced or separated perhaps it is temporary I don't know that's what you need a, 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 an extended reading for um, and then I can find out whether there is a chance the cards never lie okay now on the in the third week we have the scythe the death card you are no longer if you take action you are no longer the caterpillar in its cocoon hiding deep down in the ocean or you've gone down so far don't 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 okay you're doing yourself only damage get out there become the butterfly and cut away with the BS okay you are harvesting you are ready for a new beginning you're leaving an old face behind get over it dust yourself up and dust yourself off and stand up and take this new beginning you are harvesting something as well you could be meeting a Scorpio because death represents Scorpio then you have the six of water well in this reading the six of water means that you might be reminiscing about your childhood but it also means somebody is coming back from the past so if you've broken up with somebody like I said whether it's permanently or tempor temporarily I think they could be coming back because you've picked yourself up and you've come out of perhaps a bad habit because I see somebody drinking here um, reading for thousands of people perhaps you've been drinking your sorrows away and closing yourself off and they've been trying to re reach you but you didn't want to hear you weren't feeling what your partner was saying if you're not partnered up this could be a carer a, mo a, a parent or a friend saying come on get your butt off the chair and go out there and make a new beginning this could also mean that somebody from the past is coming back and bringing you a present in other words this could also be your partner that you are, have been in, estranged from 
and the person quickly just saying sorry or can I talk to you that is a present in itself to restart this communication and like I said we've got the scythe here so I think you are cutting away the bullshit sorry the BS and you are coming cutting straight through to the core to get clarity Wow you see it is a very I'm nearly at the end of the reading and this is the height of this reading for somebody out there that wants their partner back because they've been down and somber and they've picked themselves up and the partner has seen this happening and is wondering are you all right let's talk I have you do you know what you want this type of conversation now we've got the Queen of Cups she's a lovely nurturing lady okay and she's walking into the future so she's got the cup and she's offering love passion nurturing nature sensuality and sexuality but you have to go with the flow you have to also splurt out your emotions okay she will understand she will help you she will stand by you okay Leo pay attention you can't always be in the center of attention you can't always be the boss you have to let go sometimes and splurge your sadness or stress to a partner you have to share everything with a partner whether it's good or bad and if you're not partnered up this could be your mother go and talk to your mother or an aunt a lady that is nurturing and caring she's very intuitive she might have said to you what's the matter let's talk and you didn't want to listen because you were stuck in your head so come out of yourself talk communication that is what's always needed be open to communication even if you've done something wrong or they've done something wrong bring clarity bring it out into the open a problem shared is a problem aired here you have the seven of earth you've planted seeds you've planted seeds and it takes time to develop because this, uh, they have to jump open the seeds and then they have to poke through the earth and then they've got a little stem and it takes time to become a bush or a tree or fully grown so perhaps now is the time that um, the, the blossom is here so you can pluck the fruit wow if this could be you you've been nurturing your seeds and look at her she is waiting for the juice of her um, fruit to uh, flow into her cup she wants to pluck the harvest out of the tree that is awesome so at the end of the month if you play your cards right and you heed the warnings of the first two week of, of the second week your cup will overflow with ultimate joy and you can start this new exciting um, beginning you wanted excitement you wanted adventure well it's going to be here the answer I when I laid out the cards I can I can I can never sort of suss out beforehand what's going to happen only when I start reading card for card and get my intuition going can I make the storyline and get the gist and I we've got a separation here and reconciliation here well the angels have said it in two words peaceful resolution but you both have to will you both have to see that it takes action sweet dreams they will be coming back and won't be only dreams it will be 
um, tangible. Cozy up to the moment and snuggle into it. That's when it comes to fruition. Set, at da set down whatever needs setting down and enter a state of release. Release the BS. Through a snooze, you may have been struggling to keep up and keep up with all that you've given yourself to do, and nothing more can be done right now. Hand over to the divine everything you have been mulling over, mulling over. The Five of Cups and the Four of Cups. In a state of deep rest, you may receive symbols from your soul that offer solutions to your quandaries. At, a ver at very least, you may find that your mind is as clear as your emotions. Karma upon waking. Hence, you may see that problems are sometimes best approached by leaving them alone altogether. Give yourself permission to enter into the pleasantness of nap, nap time. I thought it was said Naptune. <laughs> I've got mermaids on the brain and lovely dreams. Okay. I adore this reading. I thought it was going to be very heavy, but it isn't. It's a message to whoever is in his head or drinking away the stress or problems. To stop doing that, to get real and get your ideas and yourself out into the material world. Because you're no longer the caterpillar, you are the butterfly. But you have to stand up, dust yourself off and carry on. And don't cry over spilled milk. There is so many good things going to happen if you are going to come into action. Abundance is yours. You are going to pluck the fruit. You are going to harvest. And after all, we are in Libra. And it's the 21st when I'm taping this. It's the Maybon uh, festival, the fall equinox, it's the harvest festival, the harvest time. So go out there, Leo, and harvest. Okay, enjoy this month, good luck, and stay strong. Love and like, and please share and like. Take care and be blessed.